My name is Tim Ford and I'm an MLS referee. My name is Alan Chapman, I'm a MLS referee. Hi, my name is Silvio Petrescu. Fotos Bazakos. Joe Dickerson. Chris Penzo. Rami Tishan. Rubio Vasquez and I'm a MLS referee. One thing that fans might not know about referees is that when we uh, finally go through the system and make it to Major League Soccer, that game is not our first game. I started refereeing in 1997 at the age of 14 and didn't get an MLS until 2009. One thing I want fans to know about being a ref is we, we do this for the love of the game. If we make a mistake, it bothers us for a long time. We don't care who wins, we just care how we perform on the field. We're training hard to be the fair on the field. I think the biggest thing that they believe is that we call fouls for a team that we are in favor of when that's not really the case. We have tons of camps that we have to come through throughout the year, um, lots of training, going over clips, um, trying to learn from our mistakes, um, figuring out what the best outcomes are, uh, a lot of studying, a lot of physical work, and a lot of time from our families. Yeah, a pet peeve uh, for me is when fans believe that we make certain calls for certain teams. Uh, to be honest, we don't care who wins the game, we want to get it right. We don't need a lot of help remembering simple things like how much time to add because we actually keep track of that. And so it's really easy for us at the end of the half and at the end of the game to add the time on because usually the fourth official is writing down exactly how much it is and we just show that much time. The biggest misconception is that uh, we don't just show up on Saturday evening or Saturday afternoon. Uh, we live, eat, breathe, sleep soccer. I think so all the spectators, they know where you live. And when you referee the team in your city, you know, they expect to make the call, you know, for them. And you make the call against them, you know, they're against you. Which one, for us, you know, it has to be fair. But I think so the spectators, they think, you know, like, because you referee the team, you know, they expect something. A peppy that fans have for us is I, I believe they don't think we train or work as hard when our trainings are as much as players, sometimes even more. So I think that's something that needs to be out there known that we actually do work hard, probably as hard as players do. So We don't see everything and have to understand that we're human. I think a misconception that fans might have about us uh, as referees is that what they, what they yell at us on the field really bothers us, whereas for me personally I think the, the passion and emotion the fans bring to the game are, are actually real positive. So I think the more, the more uh, they support their team, the more passionate they are about it, the better it is for, for U.S. soccer in general. People don't realize that uh, referees actually have a sense of humor. Um, one of the funniest things I remember is walking onto the field and a little 12 year old kid looked at me and said, hey, that referee uh, looks a lot like Borat. And I had to go and look on the internet for a picture. I said, oh God, I need to go get a haircut. And uh, you know, it's very nice. Off field, I try to play and watch as many other sports as possible. Uh, I was a collegiate rower and a pro cyclist after college. So uh, I try to play, you know, play and watch as many sports as humanly possible. A hobby of mine that some people might not know is I like to compete in chess. I like to go skiing and skating and spend this time with the family. One thing you might not know about me is I played college soccer for three years. I love playing the piano. Uh, I have a dog that I like taking to the beach. Off the field, well, one thing that's really difficult is the amount of time that we spend away from our family and, and my wife is really understanding. Um, so we have a couple of hobbies that we like to do together. One of those things is we like to go wine tasting. Probably the the thing I love to do the most outside of soccer is I'm a pizza connoisseur. Uh, I grew up in a pizza shop. Uh, my family has had a pizza shop since 1936 and pretty much every city I go to uh, I try to try some pizza.